You know, you really have to think about design as a process, right? It's not an artifact, even though there are artifacts that are created by designers. But, it, you know, I think the process, the creative process, idea generation, something I call thinking wrong, can be applied to solving all kinds of problems and coming up with new solutions. You know, you, you can be a pessimist and say, you know, we're screwed no matter what. And, but if you want to be an optimist, which I think designers are, you, you say, okay, how can we sort of navigate our way through this? That's through human ingenuity, creativity, and sort of the big picture of design. So I started a program called Project M, which was a complete experiment. And the way this works is I take this group of people in a relatively short two-week period of time, immerse them in a place that is unfamiliar and sometimes uncomfortable. They think wrong, invent a project, and get it done in two weeks. And this, is, this was a group in Maine. And one of the exercises I do to kind of get them out of their convention is say, you know, reveal a hidden talent. And, you know, it's like I was a tennis champion or I can juggle fire. Um, this girl, Rosanna, could bake pies. Her whole family was into pies. And I, I thought it was kind of stupid. You know, that's not a, that's, that's dumb. So they did this event in this little town in Maine. Um, where they, it was called Free Pie, painted everything orange, and everyone came, went down to Alabama after Project M on their own dime, about five of them, took over half our design studio there and opened up something called Pie Lab. Um, for $600, they built tables and pie boxes, um, like no money. So this was a pop-up Pie Lab to prototype it. This area of Alabama is very segregated. So white churches, black churches, white restaurants, black restaurants, they never really mix socially. Um, and especially they never sit at the same table at a restaurant. And I think because this was a neutral space built by outsiders, there was no pre-existing code of who could go in there. They had one table, so everyone had to sit at the same table. So all of a sudden, conversations happened that didn't happen before. And now we're um, baking pie and coffee. We um, employ people. It's a sustainable, ongoing business. So new creative ideas that can transform industries and um, make positive change in the world, they don't come from doing the same thing the same way we've always done it. So yeah, I was fascinated by this idea that you can generate by thinking wrong, disrupting the pathways, you can generate ideas you could never kind of conceive otherwise and then make the right, you know, kind of strategic decision going forward. I got out of college. 1980, so I've been doing it a long time, had a whole full career as a graphic designer, winning awards, I had my own firm, make money, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I sort of, it's like a ladder, right? And you're, so there's, you get out of school and there's this ladder and, you know, you want to get a job and then you want to win an award and then you want your own firm. And I, so I've climbed that ladder, um, but there was a point on that maybe 10 years ago where, it wasn't like I was at the top, but I could see the top. You know, I could look up there, I knew people up there, and I was like, man, I'm not sure that's it for me. Just kind of a career in graphic design. Um, so I would say the highlight for me is really this next phase, starting um, what's called Project M, and then Common, and now Future. So really using design and my talent, experience and networks to drive positive change is really the biggest highlight for me. Common's brand new. Yeah, it's just something we made up about a year ago. Um, we, it's sort of self-funded, you know, there's no venture capital, um, and we're just trying a bunch of stuff. I, I don't even know how we would calculate success at this point, other than people seem to be interested. And where Common is trying to exist is if you have this Venn diagram, two circles, one represents positive change, the other one represents enterprise, right, business. And where does business and positive change overlap? 
Um, and that's kind of where we want Common to be. Um, so that you're able to have a career and make money and be successful and do something positive in the world. I don't think the developing world can follow the model of the developed world given the challenges around climate change and peak oil. I don't think it can just develop the same way. So if you're not going to follow the, the existing orthodoxy or status quo, what is it going to look like? So you're having to invent it from scratch and I think the process of thinking wrong, it doesn't have to be this way, what could it be, is going to be really important in that process. Whether it'll happen or not, I don't know, but I think it's essential to that kind of new development in a new world.